Right. Hi everybody, this is Martha with uh, Carol Gockel, my co-host for Bear All. And in Bear All, we interview guests on what's real and what's raw in their lives. And we are trying this rapid fire format. And uh, for this season, we are interviewing the different presenters from Sugar and Spice, which is a virtual sexuality festival that uh, uh, will be coming very soon. And you can check it out at www.sugarandspice.asia. Thank you, Martha, for the introduction. And we have on our show right now is Oliver James Damien. Oliver James, welcome. Would you Thank tell you. us? Would you tell us what you do? I do a lot of things, and it's really hard to summarize. But in summary, I'm just living the best life that I can live right now. <laughs> Okay, that's a very, very uh, short answer, but can you give us a little bit more? What are some of your job titles? Well, I used to be a lawyer. I trained to be a product designer. I write poetry. I dance. I perform. I just made a film, which uh, co-made a film with, with uh, Sarah, and we're going to release it today. So these wow. are some of the things do I do. Do you have the link? Yeah, yeah. It's in YouTube. Okay, okay give it to us later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm curious, Oliver. Um, mm -hmm. what is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color. It's kind of orange. It's like a. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bag I use. So. Yeah, pumpkin. <laughs> it's like a. You know, like it's a bit of close to the Buddhist monk orange thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you, you are a very special person to me. You, you just radiate a lot of authenticity. So what actually um, brought you to this journey of being authentic? Well, there was a time in my life that I thought, what's wrong with me? I can't focus on one thing, you know? Like, I, I keep changing, like, oh, I want this and I want that. And then it's only later on when I discovered that if I embrace whatever is there, magic happens and like previously I always focused on to be successful in life you know to have a good life I have to focus on what I know you know these are the things I know and I'm gonna base what I do from what I know but when I flip that instead of focusing on what I know now I look at what I don't know and that has made a very qualitative change in in how I live my life, mostly internally. I suppose from the outside perspective, it's really hard to understand what's going on with me, but internally I have this like confident, um, confidence that life is great, you know? It's up and down, of course, but there's this thing that even the ups and downs, it's also beautiful, like even sadness, you know? It allows me to write poetry. If I'm not sad, it's hard to write poems, you know. Wow, I I, I like the way how you put it. That you know, it seems to me, right, that your 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 body, heart, and spirit is very very much connected, and then you are actually whole. Um, well, how? Good word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what what would you say is your your biggest strength? It would be. Total curiosity. Mm. Love that. <laughs> uh, so how do you reconcile being Asian and uh, uh, not uh, uh, striving towards uh, being, uh, I guess, successful financially? How do you reconcile with that? Ah, it's uh, when I've dropped expectations, life you know, how can I fail if there's no expectation? You know, I, I feel I failed because there, I have a picture of how things should be. But since I'm living on the unknown and doing things I've never done before, then how can I fail? Because I haven't done it before. <laughs> I have a feeling of failure because I specify something in the future, but the future never comes. It's like, you know, that story where... Um, you go to a bar, to a pub, and there's a sign, free beer tomorrow. And then you go there, okay, tomorrow. And then you come again tomorrow. And it's an endless tomorrow. <laughs> they never come. Because whatever 
that tomorrow is it can only happen in the present everything that's only an idea you know so yeah like today it was i went to finish this film and it was raining here it's windy you know, and i was in my flip-flops because i thought yeah it's got in flip-flops I didn't, i didn't even look at the weather report so it was so cold and then i was start, starting to feel you know annoyed and and then i, I flipped Actually, I should be enjoying this. You know, people pay Wim Hof how much money to do an ice bath. This is free. Just go. <laughs> and I had fun. I had fun in the rain, in the cold, you know. <laughs> I love that you are having fun. So what is the next fun project that you're, you're, you're doing? Oh, I'm learning singing. I was, <laughs> it's really, at first I thought, oh, this will be confronting, but I'm actually having fun because the teacher I have is she's very thorough. So she started with the anatomy. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I I've flipped the way I see singing now. Previously, it's like it's like an instrument. You know, the vocal cords, the the diaphragm, and the air, and then where the sound hits your palate, your nose, and the back of your throat. It's just like I could play with this. You know, yeah. Yeah. Instead of oh, I sound bad. I should sing like more like this, like that. You know, and I was like, all right, well, what what sounds can I make? And you know. <laughs> so I I know that you put out uh, videos on YouTube uh, on movement, and uh, you are a very good uh, mover. So uh, what got you into movement? So the, those videos I posted was really. Um, made during the time of you know lockdown here in sydney um previously i went to the gym with with my housemate to do these dance classes but then the gym's closed but then the instructors were really kind enough to do live um, zoom classes and i just did them and i just thought i don't really see myself dancing so maybe i'll video myself and then the feedback was amazing so that I got better at movement because I could see myself moving, whereas previously I have no idea. I'm just doing stuff. And then when I look at them, did I just do that? Really? And then, and then you know what I mean? It, it, it is, it's um, a virtuous cycle of uh, oh, that bit that, that didn't look too good. So in the next time I do it, I could adjust because, yeah, I think it's feedback is important. I think in, in anything that we do, mm -hmm. That's the only way I could adjust. Otherwise, I keep doing the same thing, which may not, which could be improved, you know, which could be made better. Mm. So is this what you will be presenting at the Sugar and Spice? Would you share with us a little bit more on that? It will be more less about uh, choreography and, the, and, the, and me or the person dancing. It will be more that, participants will be danced. So it's the other way around. It's, it's not like I'm projecting things to the world. It's more that I'm letting the music dance me, mm. which, is, which will be more relaxing and more, um, more interesting, I think, for participants. Mm -hmm. There will be choreography, but not much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And why should people attend Sugar and Spice? Because what else would you rather do with your life at the moment? Right? I don't know. Like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I think you've brought a lot of uh, joy to us. Uh, for me, you are like this uh, Chinese uh, guru that is just uh, dispensing all kinds of wisdom to us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you very much yeah thank you so much you know for for coming here and bringing all your positive energy and so with that you know this is uh bad all and thank you for watching <laughs>